Welcome to this demonstration of the teacher portal of the What's It Learning uh, software. Uh, as you can see, we're here on the home page of the What's It website. And we will, uh, in order to create this challenge, we will click here on user login. Uh, I should stop and say that uh, the, the reason we're creating this challenge, the reason we're doing this is to show you how to use the software. And the reason you create challenges uh, is either as preparation for classroom tasks or classroom lecture or discussion or as the practice after a lesson. So once again, we're going to click on user login here. Scroll down. And here we have the option to either download the application, which means downloading the software onto the phone, which students use to create video and audio, or clicking into the teacher access portal, which is what we are going to do today. That, of course, brings you into another login. This is the login to the actual portal. Uh, as you can see, I have already created an account quite some time before. If you haven't, you click here and you put in this information. Of course, we have, and you probably have too. Click on this. This is the page that you see, of course, when you first come in. In this page, we have the challenges page, which is what we are usually doing. We are creating challenges. So uh, let us create. Let us first create a challenge. The challenge we're going to call phrasal verbs. Common phrasal. Verbs. Of course, I should say that I've chosen this phrasal verbs because this tutorial is in English. Uh, phrasal verbs is something that all English speakers are in some way familiar with, either uh, in a passive sense or actively because they learn it in school or they teach it. And secondly, for second language learners, people who are learning English, phrasal verbs are quite confounding, unless, of course, they come from a language with phrasal verbs like German or Dutch. But for most people around the world who try to learn English, phrasal verbs is a point of confusion. Let us assume then that we have uh, had a discussion, that we have taught today uh, in our class uh, a section on phrasal verbs. Uh, we're not going to get into the end, all the complexities of phrasal verbs, of course, even though, to be honest, I would like to. We will just assume we have taught phrasal verbs, and now we want the students to go home or go out into the world and practice these in groups. So. What are we going to have our students do? We're going to have our students take videos of the words we put here, the verbs we put here. Verbs like sit down. We want them to take a video so we click on the video at desk. We want to take a picture of stand up. Task. Wash up. How about clean up? Clean up. It would have to be very dirty to do wash up. Mess up, it's antonym. Good. As you can see, these phrasal verbs uh, show both uh, motion of some sort and result in action, which is one of the properties of phrasal verbs. But perhaps that's too technical and I shouldn't get into it. Uh, now we can do something like uh, work out, which is an interesting one. I produced different kinds of responses. Um, you run through. Run through, of course, is a different category of phrasal verb. We have a mixed set of phrasal verbs here. Uh, and then we should add one more, something interesting. Well, let's get crazy. This one's hard to do. This one would be very hard for students to do, but perhaps they would be creative. It's not exactly a phrasal verb, but let's see what students do with it, and that can be part of the discussion. Remember, making mistakes and having trouble with ideas is what learning is all about. As you can see, we have done the phrasal verbs here. It is added to our list. Here's our list of things we want our students to do. Uh, these are all videos. So we'll click on this here. Nothing happens because we're still on this page. Now let's go to groups. Which group shall do this? Well, let us imagine for a moment that for some reason we don't have our student group created. So let's create our student group. 
student group, student group we called class A for uh, well, seven A, seventh graders, class A, and this is Sunrise Elementary Seven A English. There we go. Excellent. Here's seven A. Added to this list. We click on this. There's nobody here. It says student email. That means that we're going to add the students by emails. How do these emails enter the, the application? Quite simply, the students must have already downloaded the application and created an account. So you can assume that you told them the day before, hey everybody, download this application, create an account. Here we go. Let's imagine one of the students happens to be this young lady, add. One of the students can be myself, I'm both the teacher and the student. Let's make Joshua, my brother, one of the students. Let's make John Ed, one of my actual students, one of the students. There we go. This class has four people. This seventh grade class has got a 30-year-old, a 30-year-old, a 28-year-old, a and of course a 16-year-old. Just your average seventh grade class. Now, let us select a challenge. Which challenge shall we assign? Let's assign phrasal verbs. And now, if you had, if you were one of the students, Chloe, Morris, Josh, and John Ed all will see on their phones this application uploaded, and they will have to complete it. If we so wanted to, we could also add another task. For example, we could ask the task kitchen actions. They would have to do those too. Or we could add the task home items. Home items is an interesting task. Home items is here. We go back to challenges, click on home items, and you can see this is home items. They're all pictures because these items are concrete nouns. And so rather than video, we ask the students to take pictures of them. That concludes the explanation of the current functionality of the Smart Cards app. There is the, of course, other functionality of deleting, deleting whole phrasal verbs, and of course, deleting groups, class 7a is gone. Thank you for watching this tutorial or demonstration. Have a nice day.